No. Come on. Welcome to my cave, humans. Did you come to watch me play video games? Alright, how about another round of Street Fighter? I'm trying to finish the game with all... Go back to math class, fail. I'm gonna pick Poison. I don't want Birdie to be my first character. Plus, I don't really like Birdie that much. I... I... I don't really feel Perfume Swing is that useful of an ability, but I just like having it because it's one of those things that makes me blurt out random nonsense whenever I use it. Also, I have no idea how to use Toxic Glamour, so I'm not going to. I'm trying to do commentary on this video. You'll notice my voice is kind of nasally, and I'm trying to work on that. Ah, uh, Mama Mimi Mush My Yum and Um. No idea what that means. Web Swing! Yeah, that's basically the only reason I have the mold. So I can blurt out Web Swing! Whenever I use it. You know, for Marvel superheroes, Spider Man. What am I doing talking down to my audience? Bad Bell! Bad! That is actually not the only thing I blurred out when playing Street Fighter, though. There is something I blurt out every time I pull off a super move and it defeats the opponent. Wanna know what it is? Super Special! I think Dr. Ivo Robotnik did that in an episode of one of the Sonic the Hedgehog cartoons. Round two. I'm gonna assume you don't want me to blurt out that kind of stuff every chance I get. So, I'm not going to, but there's one more. I'll at least let you know what that is. Also, I could never really do this. Pull off a combo and then string a super move into it. I've never been able to really do that. I know, like I said, I'm not very good. I've been playing fighting games all my life, and I'm not very good at them. No, my go-to combo is the jump kick to that diagonal kick of hers. That's pretty much what I'm good at. Also, the Frankensteiner! That's the third and final thing I blurred out when playing as Poison. It has to do with this one wrestling game that blurts out that move in the same way. I think it's like that leg grappling suplex move she did. Also, can someone explain to me what Birdie says when you defeat him? I'll bugger all, I, I don't know. All right, that's one opponent down and I do not want to pick Lucia. She's tough. I mean, all of them can be tough in their own right, but Lucia especially, I just, I don't like fighting her. The big guys are usually among the easier opponents. That doesn't mean they're bad characters. I mean, that new V skill Abigail got seemed to have made him a better character. But AI-wise, they're usually not that smart. Also, did anyone notice the wonky animations on those band players? You know, the guys with the tall hats. I mean, the conductor and the trombone player oh, look fine, but the drummer and the tuba player had different frame rate. <laughs> Did you hear an explosion? Uh, nah, it's probably just me. Web swing! Bell, don't do that. That's going to get annoying quickly. Seriously, don't do that. 
Ugh, my voice still sounds nasally. I'm sorry. If you don't want to hear my commentary, there's another video without commentary. Just watch that one. But if you don't mind my voice, keep listening. Be honest, it's hard not to mind my voice. Even I mind my own voice. Why am I doing this? All right, round two. Let's see if I have the same success. Come on, big guy. Abigail's thing is that he's a close-range fighter. Also a tank. He's supposed to tank through mode. Not doing it very well because he's not really using the move designed for that. Come on, big guy. Is that all you got? Mr. Muscles. Come on. There, that move. Now he used it. But that didn't stop. Oh, dang you. All right. Now for- Okay, I cannot believe that word. Super special! Well, what did I tell you? Don't do that! You win. From now on, if I have nothing new to say, I'm not going to say anything. You probably don't want me to blab on 24-7 anyway. So, if I don't have anything to say, I'm just gonna- you know what? I am going to fight Lucia. Challenge be damned. Let's do this! USA. There is a big reason I don't like fighting Lucia. Basically, a lot of times she can get in a large combo on me that takes off about a third of my life. That is basically my problem with her. Come on, Belle. You can do it. And then there are the times where I get locked down, not sure what to do, just trying desperately to block attacks until there's an opening, and it never comes. That's how bad I am at this game. The music in this level is so jazzy. Just makes me imagine some music players in the background. Yeah, you know, from the Britain stage. Bring back the drummer, bring back the tuba player, bring back the... There's that explosion again. Oh, I see. It's the comment section. Some people who haven't watched this far into the video are like, Bill, you idiot! That wasn't a tuba, it was a French horn! I know that. I was just testing you guys. Hee <laughs> hee! And there's that kill shot. I mean, seriously, who do you think I am? Connor the Waffle? Oh, well. Burn! All right, Poison. You did it once. You can do it again. Come on. I believe in you. Well, I suppose if I just spam her whip, I might be able to. No, no, Balf. That is not the way you like to win. Don't do that. I should apologize for that comment. That was just some playful revving. I actually really like Connor the Waffle and his videos. They're always fun. All right, come on, Poison. He's tough, he can do it. The Frankensteiner! Curse you, Bell! What did I tell you? <sighs> All right, time to fight fire with fire. Boom! Now that's 
it's a burn. You win. Lucia is one of those opponents that actually makes me feel accomplished when I beat her. She's tough, but really, the one that matters is Sagat. Time to kick that pirate wannabe back to Thailand. And hope that didn't get cut off this time. Also, a break in the recording is coming up soon, but I tried to stop the recording during the ad. Hope it looks seamless this time. Up. Well, I tried. Unfortunately, the PS4 can only record for so long, and that's why I cut them off. All right, Sagat, let's go. How did I jump over him? Ah. I don't get it. I did it again! How did I do that? I don't think I've ever had that happen. That is so weird. Poison has a few techniques for dealing with projectile users, but generally those techniques specialize in people who don't have high projectiles like Sagat. So using them isn't as effective against the god as, say, Ryu or Ken. But I didn't get to fight either, so... Hmm. What are you gonna do? Alright, and... Come on! Just get... Ah. Use your kick combo, poison! Come on! Arr! Take that! Didn't expect this. Come on, Poison. You only have one more round to win. Kick combo. Booyah. Whip. Ah. Maybe not do that. That doesn't look like it's going to happen very often without being punished. Right. If you use it, you gotta make sure he's not about to use a projectile or just use it quickly. Come on. Come on, baby, let's go! And special move! Ha ha! Projectile couldn't save you from that, eh? Alright, home stretch. Put in some dramatic music. Okay, that was anticlimactic. Oh well. I win! win! Yay! Go, Belf! Go, Belf! It's your birthday! Never do that again. And that was my first attempt at commentary! I hope I didn't sound too bad. Ugh, it's a curse having a voice like this. Oh, well, then. Oh, yeah! Right where the sun doesn't shine. Take that, Cody! I've almost got all the artwork unlocked. Thank you for playing. Maybe I'll get all of it someday. Anyway, thanks for watching. Balf out. The cave is closed.